Well, hello. How's it going today? This is Ben with the DIY Homefront Network. And I'm going to change the oil. And I have started a stopwatch. And it is running. So we're going to see how long it takes me to change oil at the house. First thing I'm going to do is move the car. And start it up because it's cold. I need the engine oil hot so that way it'll come out right. I don't know how much editing I'll have to do with this because I'm sure it's going to be a little bit jerky at times. Okay, the car is at the end of the driveway. Pop the hood. So uh, it says 520. So let's see if I have 520 oil for the car. I got 520 and my oil filter says Sonata. Put the oil in with. And like a couple of rags. And I'll go set this by the car. Gotta love the dogs. What is that? A squeaker? It's a dog toy. So let's go out to the barn and get the uh, oil pan and the rug I lay on. Yeah, and I still got to get some wrenches. This Sonata is the easiest to change oil in in all the vehicles I've got. The Chrysler, the Optima, they both have a uh, cover that has to come off. The uh, Sonata's got a cover but it's got holes in it so that way you can drain the oil and change the oil filter without having to take that big cover off. The truck's not bad, but it's just big. And the oil, the way it comes out of the drain pan, always ends up hitting one of the cross members and then going everywhere. I don't know how to fix that. Okay. All my junk. my rug so the only downside to having space is you always seem to fill it up so you build a big old barn and it's empty and it's like wow I got all this room and then seven or eight years later and it's like it's full of crap no more room I'm thinking, I'm thinking I can do this in probably 15 minutes. Start to finish. No stopping to readjust the camera. It's just going to be what it's going to be. And if it's less than that, wow. That just goes to show you what you could do on your own. Okay, I'm going to set the camera down for a second. Well, I uh, put the rug down. Okay, it's time to move the car forward and see if it's warmed up yet. temperature gauge says the engine's hot so we'll turn it off this is one of my helpers rascal how's it going rascal oh, I just want to be petted 
That's all it is. I just want to be petted. And the uh, other dogs will come. There we go. We're going to, uh, let's see. We'll put the, the emergency brake on. Take the oil cap off. Because it drains faster that way. Put the jack in the correct position this time. I think the last time I did this, I had the jacks sort of all jacked up, so to speak. There we go, it's been lowered onto the jack. Get some of my other stuff here. I need that up there. I need my rags. There's the three amigos, ready to help at a moment's notice. So on this car, just to show you real quick, there's a hole for the oil. And there's a hole for the oil filter right there. So now that you've seen that, I'm just gonna get busy. See if I can do this in a decent amount of time. We're going with a uh, 17 millimeter change, or to take out the drain plug. There we go, it is loose. Always make sure you, you get the drain tab open and that you unplug that before you start dumping all your <laughs> engine oil. I should take off my watch too while I'm at it because it's going to get oily I bet. And here we go. It will not take long at all for that oil to drain out of there. I never seem to have a hard time getting this undone by hand. It's because I can get my whole hand, I can grab my whole hand around the the drain, the oil. And this car has 299,000 miles on it. This will be the last oil change I plan on doing it. I said I was going to drive it to 300,000 miles and then I was going to get rid of it. I always wipe off the back side of this. This is the uh, original plug from the very first time we got the car it's never been replaced this one doesn't use copper washers or anything but I always take some time and wipe off around where it gets seated to try to make sure there's no uh, sand or grit or dirt especially since the majority of the time I own this car I lived on the dirt road And there's the oil filter. I try to change the oil in this car every 6,000 miles. I've always used mobile and synthetic since I've owned it. Never had a problem with it. The only problem I've ever had with this car was for whatever reason, when I went to change the spark plugs at 200,000 miles is when I changed the spark plugs. One of them decided to like strip the threads and that was a challenge to get fixed. I'm doing the same thing. I'm wiping up there where this is going to rest. It always helps to put some oil around this. That's going to help it slide. I'm going to turn it as tight as I can get it by hand which is it like that wipe around it again one more time okay let's get this out of here once again not crazy tight there we go that's plenty tight the next step would be to put the tools up and to get the oil filter in the trash can. 
I always put this back in the box it came in, claws, and I wipe this the best I can. Get as much of the oil that went into it off of it. I'm going to the trash can, I'll be right back. Wipe my hands off a little bit so I don't get too much oil on the camera stand. The next step is to put the oil in it. And you can see the oil going in is a lot lighter than the oil going out. Here we go, five quarts. This car burns about a quart of oil every 3,000 miles ish. So I'll change it, the oil, I'll set the speedometer, or I mean, I'll set the mileage on it. And then around 3,000 miles, I'll check it again. And normally I put some oil in it. So I'm not worried if it's a little bit over full because it's gonna come back out. Now I need to get my old oil so I can dispose of it. And just like the last time, there's a little bar on the side of this, which should have a nice visible black line now that the oil is so dirty. Oops. Here we go. Time to get some use out of this second rag. on this when I have too many of them they're full I will run them to the uh, parts store O'Reilly AutoZone whatever and they will normally take it for free and recycle it next step is to pull out the dipstick wipe it off and check it real quick just to make sure what I normally think is right is right the oil is right there right above the mark, which is perfect. Put the cap on. Wipe this off. Looks like a, a frog ended up getting squished by the hood. He's like a pancake, like a total pancake. Okay. The next thing I do is start the car for a few minutes just to make sure that there's not leaking oil any place. I can't leave the camera on the engine to start the car. You'll vibrate right off into something you shouldn't. Yes, it's still up on the jacks. Yes. And it's not gonna hurt anything. So I'm gonna grab the rug and I'm going to head off to the uh, barn and put the rug and the oil can back up. And instead of having you uh, come with me, I'll have you watch from a pleasant distance and hopefully the puppy dogs don't decide to eat you. Car's turned off. There's no oil anywhere underneath it. It ran for a few minutes. Lower the car down with some grace, hopefully. Put these two tools up. Oil filler cap is tightened down. Everything else looks good. The usual, I got plenty of coolant I've got plenty of windshield wiper fluid I can see the mark on my power steering fluid is good and I have used K&N air filters forever looks like I could probably clean that off okay so the emergency brake is back off I'm gonna pull the car like 15 feet forward and park it in this normal spot. 
That way if my wife gets home before I'm done, she can get into the garage. The car is off. I'm gonna leave the hood up to remind me that I still have the air filter out and that I need to clean it. And we are done. So let me see if I can figure out how to get the time. Where's our stopwatch at? This says 34 minutes. Well, I probably wasted a few minutes just talking and maybe doing the camera, but not much. So give or take 30 minutes to change the oil in your car. And it gets to be pretty routine after a couple years doing it two or three times a year. Well, that's all I've got for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, when I clean the K&N air filter, I'll videotape that for you too. Until the next video, have a good day.